morning guys. Out here Swansea Heads again. Wasn't sure what I was going to fish for today so I brought an arsenal of all sorts of rods on board today. Loaded up, even bought the big heavy 30 pound. I was hoping I would be out to um, get some live yakka and get some kingfish out here but it's a little bit choppy so I think I might just get some live yakka and um, hopefully we can anyway and take them inside and try and get a big mull away or a big flathead or something worth a shot anyway yeah it's a little bit choppy out here it won't be very enjoyable all day out here so we'll just get our bait watch the sounder and hopefully we can find some yellow tail it's usually plenty around the head here no, no shorties usually and we'll um, go back into the lake yeah I'm not liking this rough weather too much out here it's a bit choppy a little bit bangy anyway it's a beautiful morning out here Always is a little bit choppy as soon as you come around the heads here, but anyway, hopefully we can pick up a few bait fish. And hopefully it doesn't take us long. Alright, we're big guys. Here we go guys. Try and get a couple of yakka. I was gonna have a soft plastic out here today too, but stomach's not liking this chop too much so try and get a quick couple of live yakka get a couple of bites already here and um, yeah then we'll rip into the lake there we go straight on plenty down here at the moment yeah it's always a good oh something bigger I think something bigger is eating my bait on the way up Oh, I lost him. But that's a bit large for a live bait. He's not bad actually, but I'm only going to the lake daytime, so I might keep him for a slab bait. We'll see what happens later, I'm not sure. There's one. Let's see what size this is. Large maybe. Oh, we've got a couple on here. So that top one's about perfect size. That's a good size live bait. Let's get him in the... I'll show you them in a second. So I'm not going to get many. I'll probably get a... I might get three or four. That's about it. The live bait. Got our bait. Another one. We'll go in and I'll just work a couple of soft plastics as well. There we go. Perfect size. Good live bait size, that one. I don't know what I would be uh be all sorts of curry. Tiniest bait on. Look at that. Look at the tiniest bait on, and that's a good snapper. Let's go to show. Put a reasonable bait on, who knows what I'll get. Tiniest pull, little long shank. Good snap. Up to you. There we go, nice simple setup. Bit of yellow tail on there. 
robot's going to use this inside or for kingfish out here, but rough. Whoa, that's a good fish straight up, guys. Yeah, straight up. As soon as I hit the bottom, I was under that. Snapper again. I wasn't planning the bottom bash off here, but I couldn't resist after I caught that first little snapper. Another beautiful snapper, around 50 centimeters. Keeping lunch. Yeah, absolutely whale my bait that one. Hit it like a ton of bricks. Just put him out of his misery with a brain spike. Here we go. Bait out. Well worth having a bait out. Ah, the old Sergeant Baker. The old horrible Sergeant Baker. Tell you what, guys, feels good to be back in the estuary. Nice calm water. Taking a toll on me out there, it was. It was starting to feel a bit queasy. Anyway, we're just going to be motoring along and trying to pick something up on the sounder. Nothing's showing up at the moment. So we'll just keep motoring along. We've just got two nice live yakas there. Nice big ones. So whatever we get on them, it's going to be big. Ready to target and mull away. Big flathead. Or anything big what's willing to take it on but anyway yeah we'll just motor along until we pick some fish up and um, drop a livey down and I'll probably work a couple of vibes at the same time I think I got a 85 avocado and a hundred mil lime crush there and we'll just see how we go not, yeah it's a bit quiet on the sounder today not, not a lot going on I picked up a couple of little bait schools, but not a lot. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Alright guys, gonna go the nice simple setup. Single hook Pananoska. Got a fair size Bremok on today. 
just because the size of the live bait, they're quite large. So, whatever we're going for, they're going to be a large fish. That's it. Hook straight through the nose. Pananoska rig, little sinker. Yeah, the sound is a bit quiet today. The bait's still not a lot around. So, I picked up a few little ones, but we'll just drift around and hopefully come across something. As I said, whatever eats this is going to be a good fish. I've got the slightly upgraded set up today. I was going to be going for kingfish, so I took this one out. This is 20 pound braid onto 20 pound Pananoska rig. So we've got a good chance of a really big fish if I do get one on this. Anyway, we'll see how we go with that. Chuck him in the rod order, make sure everything's set nice. Beautiful. Righto. And why that's out. I think I might give the little hundred mil. 100 mil vibe ago and the lime crush. We'll give that a crack. G'day guys. Didn't get to do a sign off yesterday. Absolutely poured down not long after my last upload. So I had to race home without even an upload in the end. But anyway, we didn't do too good in the estuary. I got a little snapper on a vibe and that was about it. And then the rain came in and that was the end of it really. But I just thought I'd run you through some gear and what sort of gear I got and why I've got so many rods. Every rod I have does have a purpose and that's why us fishermen are always broke because we are always upgrading our gear. We are constantly upgrading our tackle, our line, our reels, our rod and yeah, it just costs a lot of money in the end especially with boats and whatever else. So, yeah, we just get what we can in the end. Anyway, I'll run you through some of my gear. So here's all my rods here. I've got my smaller setups. I mean, the smallest rods I run generally are about a 1.8 metre. I like my seven foot rods, six sixes. Yeah, I need a bit longer just to reach around the boat a lot of the time. My longer rods, I mount up on the wall here. They take the full length, that's a 12 foot rod up there. My big pen, 8500 made in USA. I think I've owned that reel for 20 years now, never let me down. So that's a good setup. I've got that set up for 30 pound braid and I generally use that for bigger, bigger stuff. I rarely use it actually. Then we come over to here, and what have we got here? I've got a spare rod here. I've just been starting to get into these rods here. They're quite a cheap rod, just off eBay. Cork handle, um, seven foot rod, and they're quite a nice setup actually. I just got a smaller one too, very similar setup. And this one's a six foot model, and that's um, rigged up with 10 pound. And that's just a bit more flexible. That's a good little setup, that one, actually. And so, yeah. So, we've got 10 pound. These two here. These are cheap setups, these. They're probably about $40 reels. This one here was a Daiwa Acceler. I've owned that for about a fair few years now. So, both of these have got 20 pound. I will use them outside for soft plasticing, heavy sort of, heavier sort of fishing. I do have a lot of 10 pound setups. These are all 10 pound setups. Um, that's an old cheap reel I haven't even looked into actually. And then I've got another big pen over here that's got 30 pound on it. More 10 pound setups. And I just got a mono setup there just for squid. 
miscellaneous reels for parts and whatever else. Tackle, never ending. Life jackets, shirts. Yeah, I'm getting a lot, a lot of stuff lately. I'm trying to look the part for doing the videos. But yeah, see these hangers here? They're quite handy too. They're um, good for the longer rods. As you can see, the tips get very close to the roof. So my longer rods, I like to hang up. That way it keeps them nice and neat. They, they're actually um, rip rack rod rats. They're quite handy actually. You can hang anything on them. You can hang power leads on them. Yeah, I don't mind them. They're quite handy. Anyway, there's a little run through all my gear. So, yeah, I mean, I've got like 15 good setups, I suppose. And honestly, I use them all. They're all got a different purpose. I forgot my big boy there. That's a big old Alvi. It's about a thousand meters of line on that. It's even got a drag system on it. So that's a good old thing. And all my old rods I just tuck behind there. Because you never know, you might need them for spare parts one day. Yeah, so whenever they're giving you a hard time about spending money, they're tools of the trade and we need the tools of the trade, which means good lures, good rigs, good reels, fresh rigs, good run, smooth running drags. If your drag's no good, you're not going to land any fish, so you need a good smooth running drag. And yeah, every single rod I've got a purpose for. Whether it be, sometimes I take eight rods out with me and every rod will be rigged up differently. Um, yeah, I may look a bit crazy out there with rods hanging everywhere, but it saves me rigging up, I can chuck it straight out, ready to go. Anyway guys, there's my um, sign off, a little bit late. You'll get to see me wearing some new fishing gear soon too, I just picked up that. So I'll be looking the part, I'll be starting to look like a professional out there soon. And I'll start to look like I know what I'm doing out there. So yeah, next time you see me guys, I'll probably have a new fishing shirt. I've always got new gear on the way, always something in the mail. Anyway, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you guys on the water. Catch you guys.